Hi, I'm Ellie Quintero from Lumen Christi Catholic School, fifth grade teacher, and I'm going to take just a few moments to explain how we use our MAP scores. This particular student has um, some pretty nice math, math MAP scores, and they're high to average in their algebraic thinking, in their operational skills, as well as their measurement and data. So this student would probably be pulled out of class um, and get some learning support to help them, challenge them a little bit, give them some enriched materials so that they could forward their thinking and use that thinking to, to continue to move forward. Um, on the other hand, this particular student is just average in geometry, so that student would stay in the classroom and, and kind of um, do the regular materials, the hands-on um, equipment that we use and such to make them um, a better understand the material that they are not completely understanding here. We also have students, of course, that would not have these higher scores. They may have scores that would show that they need some additional support. If they have a low or a low average type of score for any of these, they also could be pulled out and get some extra support to help them understand the material better, or I would keep them in class and we would work with them to, again, help move them forward so they can understand um, better on how to use the, the material that we're learning. In reading, we go with the Lexile scores here. When they pull a book off of the shelf, they easily can see if it's within their Lexile range, and if it is, they know that they will completely be able to understand that text and be able to understand the book and comprehend what they are reading. Um, we have had students, of course, who pulled books that are too hard or too easy. We go right back to that Lexile score and we use that to help guide where their reading material should be coming from. We also can take, using the map groupings here, um, we can kind of break it down and say, okay, all of these kids are kind of in the same range. Um, so we take these, and we also can group the kids that way because we know that they are at the same levels. Finally, we also take the MAP scores, and it is one of the components that we use to decide where these children should go once they get into middle school. We divide them in 7th and 8th grade into the um, different math groups, the, the geometry, the pre-algebra, the algebra groups. So we go ahead and we break them up based as one component on their MAP skills. Thank you.